Hello everyone and welcome back to the Digi Space YouTube channel where we talk all about digital planning, journaling, and use creative tools to keep you motivated and inspired. Today you are invited to watch as I set up my September bullet journal using my iPad. We'll be using two apps today which are available to purchase in the App Store. The first is GoodNotes 5, which is the app I use for all of my digital planners and journals. It is $7.99. And the next is Procreate, which is $9.99 in the App Store. I did a very mini tutorial in my last video talking about this app, which is linked below in the description. All right, let's get into this. So the first thing I do is go into the GoodNotes app, click the plus button and add a new notebook. And I'm gonna name it Bullet Journal. I know it's super basic. And then I'm gonna go look for a cute cover that kind of goes with my aesthetic. The great thing about GoodNotes is that they have so many different notebook covers as well as paper, but I kept the dotted paper because it fits more with the bullet journal style. Next, I begin with creating my September vision board. I've done this on, in a lot of my previous videos. So if you want to see where I get inspiration for the pictures I add into the vision board, go ahead and watch those. It is so mesmerizing. I'm not going to lie. I added a lot of fall inspo in this vision board. And I know I'm a little early, but I'm just so ready for a new season. Your vision board can be whatever you want it to be. So be you. Listen to what your needs are and manifest them, sis. And the next thing is the fun part is actually going into Procreate. I am going to start off with the September monthly spread. And for this spread, what I did was do some simple box lettering for the word September. And as you can see here, I'm just tracing over what I sketched out. And I basically sketched out all of my spreads for this bullet journal just to save some time of course i'm just going to go ahead and trace that and fill it in with this yellow i use the same color palette throughout the entire bullet journal as well just to keep everything super cohesive and everything looking really nice and didn't go crazy with the colors and the theme for this month's bullet journal is actually safari theme and the inspiration from that came from my son's first birthday because his birthday is coming up in September which is absolutely crazy I cannot believe how fast time is flying by and that's why you see me drawing these spots here so that is a the theme for September I tried to make it look as safari but also also cute as well as possible so you'll see my process going through the entire video so what I did here with the spots for the letters is I actually drew the spots on a different layer, a layer above the tracing of the yellow. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about with the layers, go ahead and watch my video. I did my previous video with goal setting on the iPad and I did a little mini um, Procreate tutorial on that as well. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go in and trace over the boxes for the actual days. And this calendar spread is super simple. It's just a four by four box. And I'm going to show you a cool little trick here just to save so much time. And this is why I love digital artwork and digital planning because it's just so easy. Just duplicate the layer and then move it down and to the exact spot that you want it to be rather than having to draw every single box individually. I saved so much time doing this. As you know, I am a mom and anything that I can do to save time, I am 1000% gonna do. And the last thing I did there was just merge all the layers together so that it can all be nice and organized. So here I'm going over and writing down the days. I used to be a Sunday start person, but for some reason I'm really into to a Monday start and just having the weekend um, towards the end. I don't know why. I just, it's just a thing for me now. Also, my lettering is not perfect. I am trying to practice to get better at it. My handwriting on the iPad 
practice and practice makes a little bit of improvement. Um, and then as you can see, I'm just writing down the days here on the boxes. So like I mentioned before, I've never done a bullet journal style um, for a plan with me or as a, a monthly spread. So this is very new to me. I have seen other people do it, which really inspired me to kind of go for it. It's just a little side note, that little hand you see in the corner is actually my son. He wanted to help me with my September plan with me. So you're going to see his hand pop up here and there in this video. It's actually kind of cute. Um, but yeah, I've never done a bullet journal style um, with a setup. So this was very new to me. I am completely out of my comfort zone. But it was really exciting for me to do something new. I hope that this inspires somebody out there to just try out something new. Even just making these YouTube videos is something new for me. And I still have no idea what the heck I'm doing. I'm just kind of going with the flow. It is what it is. I love being creative. I love planning. I love using my iPad for digital planning and journaling and all that so might as well go in and spread the love and show what I do I love this little section I am doing here just like a little goal section on the left side of the calendar for the digicrew section it's not about the amount of followers that I have like I could care less with how many followers I have I simply just want to grow this community to see how many people genuinely are following along um, my journey and this amazing journey that I started so that's why I do want to have a count and keep track of it um, I don't buy my followers I want an organic growth with this community with the digi crew so if you are following along my journey thank you so much and I hope you're doing it because you actually want to be part of the community not just because it's to follow somebody else on Instagram or subscribe on YouTube like I just I genuinely want to have a uh, community of people who you know just want to do something different and learn something new and just be inspired because the more people that are part of this community the better to work on the weekly spread here and this is a spread that i have used in the past before for my weeklies i usually plan out dailies but recently i've just been wanting to get into a better routine and just having everything laid out for the entire week it keeps me motivated and accountable for sure which is why i wanted to go ahead and do a weekly spread and as you can see i did the same duplicate trick to to duplicate all of the little boxes that I have here so that I didn't have to draw every single one of them and again just save so much time like I just love going digital it is like the best thing ever also just a little side note this whole voice recording thing is very new to me which is why this video is up later than usual i usually post on thursday so i don't know what i'm talking about i'm just kind of going with the flow here like i said before drawing the boxes and writing in the days i split the boxes into three sections and i actually love love doing this and just separating my day with my personal to-do list my work to do the to-do list or career and then fitness i make sure to have all three categories in every single day again to keep myself accountable 
a little bit more organized and it 1000% helps so much throughout the day and I've really taught myself so much by doing this and just learning so much more about myself on what i can handle on a day-to-day -day. right here i'm actually going in and writing in my favorite quote great things never come from comfort zones and how perfect could this be because again this is the first time i've ever done this bullet journal style and again it is very uncomfortable so i'm completely un I'm completely out of my comfort zone here, but you know what? I am doing it, and if I can do it, you can do it too, sis. the next and final spread is this mood tracker oh my goodness i absolutely loved how this mood tracker came out again i have never had a mood tracker or have even tracked my mood but i thought it'd be super interesting to do and basically what i do here it's kind of look looks like a i don't know a flower kind of um i just drew a bunch of lines on the outside of the circle and in this part i'm actually going to do some watercolor here and make a cool little watercolor effect because actually what i'm going to be doing is on every day of the month i'm going to color in the color that's associated with the mood when you'll see me write out a key on the right hand side whatever mood i'm in that day i'm just going to color in each circle then at the end of the month Month is actually going to look really cool with like this hopefully not too many um colors even though i i do get a little moody or have different moods every day but it's gonna look really cool to see how it all turns out but yeah i love how the center of the mood tracker came out with the watercolor effect all the brushes i use are completely free in procreate so that was just the water bleed and then i just blend it in with the blender tool Quickly, here is just the different moods that I'm going to track. The last thing I do is just export it into GoodNotes, into the bullet journal that I actually set up in the beginning of this video. And here's the final setup. There's the vision board that we created and all the other spreads in Procreate. I thank you so much for watching this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope you learned something new. I hope you step out of your comfort zone. You do something new, you know? It's a new month coming up, and that means new goals, new intentions, so let's set those and get after it. And basically, I'm going to be filling out this spread throughout the month, and I'm gonna insert a picture on the final version of this spread and how it came out thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you so so much and i hope that you have an amazing september peace